Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Goodell, Henry Eyes, Snackers, and Will Comer. You're listening to the Newgrounds Podcast. Wow! I'm Goodell. Thank you for joining us. So cool. I'm joined in the studio today by Will wow. KMR, executive producer. <laughs> can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> My God. <sighs> I'm doubling as a live studio audience today, so I'm cheering as I'm talking at the same time. Yeah! <laughs> woo! 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 Yeah! This is awesome. This is the beginning of a brand new thing. It's kind of like... I think it's, in one way you could say, it's kind of what Grounds Patrol and a couple of crickets were going to culminate in being, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's what we're after. So if you don't know, I am a former host of a couple of crickets podcast, which was a new grounds community podcast, not about cricket, the sport or crickets, the animal. It was about new grounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a host of a podcast called grounds patrol, which is a new grounds community podcast, not related to uh, facility surveillance, but <laughs> it was a new grounds community podcast, which you can see how if there's two podcasts doing the same thing at the same time. And that's, uh, that's why we ended up here where we're going to, uh, we're, we're yeah. taking what we think is the best elements of both shows and we're creating what we think is the definitive new grounds podcast. Yeah. We Weird, right? Yeah, so uh, it'll be fun. Um, in the future, there'll be more hosts. We'll have something of a revolving cast, which means um, you'll hear different voices. You'll uh, get to experience different uh, different aspects of the site and the community. We will be doing both um, episodes like this, where we talk about Newgrounds news and content. We'll also do episodes where we do artist interviews with the, the people that you want to hear from in the Newgrounds creator community. Aiming right now, we're going to make this a weekly podcast so you can be able to tune into this. If that changes, we're going to be letting people know as soon as it does. But right now, because we have more manpower, this isn't any like individual person's thing. The Newgrounds podcast is a collaborative effort by uh, several different people. So we're going to be able to put out episodes more often, which is something I'm really excited about. Grounds Patrol, I know personally, I was like, two weeks feels like forever. You put out an episode and then like at the time you get to record the next one, it's, you feel rusty. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, that was a long time ago. So being able to have a consistent outflow and it's going to be up to date. Well, not this episode as much. This episode is being recorded a few weeks before you're probably listening to it, which means the news we're talking about might be a little bit uh, less new cobwebbed over, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> right. but in the future, future episodes are going to be right on the money. We're going to be talking about the news uh, that you're hearing and you're seeing. Yeah. All right, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go live to Henry Eyes, who is on the front page of Newgrounds. Uh, Henry, what do, what do you see there? Okay, I see a huge uh, banner for uh, Buttspo's cartoon about a dog, uh, Peros. I can't pronounce it very well. Uh, Peros. <laughs> Peros. Peros. Uh, I'd like to mention that Wavetro uh, made a new cartoon called The Shower. It's about a man or uh, a CGI entity that goes and showers. <laughs> it's not just any old shower. It's a new shower. A smart shower. I also just noticed that Chutney Glaze, the imposter, is on the front page. Where uh, there, there seemingly seems to be uh, two chutneys, and one of them is the not real chutney. I, I also seem to seem to recognize Meat Canyon's Wabbit Season, a nifty cartoon about uh, Bugs Bunny. You may have heard of him. Uh, Mario pissing collab made what, by uh... Paul Gore. <laughs> What is the Mario pissing collab? That is not something it's that a, can be answered, my friend. The only answer to that is to watch it. It's a philosophical question. It's not do, just do a I cartoon. Have to watch it? You do. Sometimes I ask myself, am I the Mario pissing collab? <laughs> exactly. It's like it's like a modern day Picasso. You kind of look at it and you're just like, what am I looking at? But the more you look at it, the more you're like, huh, this is kind of genius. Yes. One year to complete. One That's year. How long it yeah, took. one year, by the one way. One year. Well, that's good. I still don't know any more about what it is, though. <laughs> that's it's about Mario and he fucking pisses. <laughs> in any case, that's that's the interesting stuff. Ninja All the Muffins other stuff. game, you fucking idiot. Oh, sh- I mean, uh, Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Muffin 99's new game, Ritz. A collaborative effort between Kawhi Sprite, McMaffo, Digimon, headed and led by Ninja Muffin. Soul game designer, I I assume. I don't know. <laughs> but uh I've got I'm gonna be honest here, I couldn't finish it. There are too many goddamn pieces. Are you of serious? Sheet, you, you know couldn't what? get thirty two? Are you s- no, there, isn't it like fifty I can't remember. Anyway, there, well, I know like that 50, uh, yeah, but 
you, you know, that's not you don't need that to beat it. I have to agree. I also didn't finish Ritz, and not because I couldn't just find all the cheese. I couldn't finish it because it's damn hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is it's not well, an yeah. easy game. I got thirty two, but I couldn't get all the all of them. It, I didn't know where to go. That was like back and forth. If you're one of the eleven people who got all pieces of cheese, leave a comment. Tell us how you did it, who you are, and what maybe in your life led you to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> what high mountain you trained on to be the god of uh, internet games? All right, Henry. Is there anything else out there? Uh, nothing too, nothing too crazy. All right. Let's do some personal spotlights. Anything uh, anything that any of you have seen recently on Newgrounds that you think uh, deserves a special shout out? Phone Cats. Talk phone about Cats cat is calling. excellent. I love Phone Cats. Um, it's about phone cats as opposed to cat phones. It's a, it's a beautiful work of animation. I think everybody should check it out. It is on the front page at the moment, so if you haven't seen it, definitely do check it out. I've got a couple, uh, couple works on Newgrounds that I'd like to give spotlights to. Uh, it was already mentioned, but Wavetro's new shower is incredible. I really <sighs> like the stuff that Wavetro has been doing recently. So that, good. Like, hackers absolutely give Wavetro a follow. You won't regret it. A couple other, uh, spotlights. Some things that I've seen that I'd like to give little shout outs to. First of all, 00062 by My Name is Eight is an art piece featuring a grotesque, horrible monster, and I hate it so much that I love it. Definitely, uh, definitely check out My Name is Eight's artwork. Further, Enderman Tolki by Dogmith Bahidog is, uh, is a piece of art as well that's got some fantastic line work. Just some really intricate detailing that, uh, it's it has that sort of sketch look to it, but it's it's like sketch with purpose, and uh, I think it's uh, very well done. Further, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, to a friend and uh, collaborator of mine, Gallo Jolt, for his piece of art, Skull Crab. It is a crab wearing a skull over its head. Furthermore, Green Glowing Goblin by Bomb Tunes, who just recently posted several uh, illustrations. I guess they are church doodles. But they're all uh, they're all really neat. They remind me of that um, that contest, that art contest that went on a while ago. That was the uh, gosh, I can't remember what it was called, but the thing that would generate sprites, like pixel art sprites, oh, and you yeah. were supposed to uh, oh, I remember that. Yeah, imagine what that looked like and draw that. That's what this reminds me of. So it's cool stuff. I got a few. If uh, if I can go ahead, yeah, let's hear it. All right. Well, I got two art pieces I want to shout out here. Uh, the first one. Is called Izukin's Grills by Alka and G, and uh, it's just a little fan art thing for this uh, anime that's coming out called uh, Izukin. It's a really cool anime, and this fan art is uh, really cute, and I like it a lot. The colors are very nice. Secondly, I got Bingo Night by Bridge of Faust. Now this guy, this guy's on fire. I mean, he he like he posts like a new drawing like every second day or something, and it's always amazing. He got he's got this really cool style, and uh, all of his stuff is really unique. And uh, I really like this one because I love Captain Falcon. And again, just just uh, there's just a lot of personality in it. It's really cool. And the last thing I'd like to shout out is uh, fucking Grover. Now I know this is brought up before in another podcast, but I just I feel like I have to bring it up again. Fucking Grover by uh, Moik Moonzy is just an experience. I just love it. It's just really good. It's a movie. Great. That's it. <laughs> So we'll now turn to Snackers, who is uh, reporting on the news of the new grounds. Snackers, what do you see? All right, so new grounds news. First off, Pixel Day is a cool thing that happens every year, and every year it gets cooler and cooler. Uh, so the winners have been announced for each category. So best art goes to Lewis for his cool gif, Never Give Up. Uh, best animation went to Gate Kid 3 for Bit by Bit. Uh, best game went to Matug and Connorail for Wiz. And best music went to our boy Kawhi Spride for NES 
run run uh, each winner won a hundred dollars so good for them uh, phaser game jam phaser it's a free open source game framework it was made by photon storm there's a game jam going on for it uh, ends on February 16th but you win a hundred dollars uh, three winners will be picked and uh, you'll get a hundred dollars if you win so cool psycho goldfish he's posting um, tutorials on how to use it so keep an eye out on that and uh, new grounds OC animation competition so in 20 2019 in June, the moderator Fro he started this uh, competition, which is still going on. It uh, started with a writing portion. Uh, users they were asked to create the script for an original show pilot. Unabated won that uh, won that script writing portion, and so it went on to the concept art phase. That portion was won by Mr. Schmoods. Schmoods is on into the audio contest, which was won by Splatterdash for music and Glass of Awesome for voice acting. So now it's time for animations coming in, and they're going to compete for the official trailer so the deadline for that is February 26th so you might still have a bit of time to left for that and finally there's been a redesign to the audio portal the audio portal has been uh, redesigned to look uh, more similar to what uh, what they did to the air portal a few months ago so audio categories they're plainly listed along the top of the page which allows ease of navigation and uh, content filters have been applied to audio submissions so you can filter out all the adult <laughs> stuff if you want so you know it'll be like 20 submissions left or something or filter out you can you filter out any other you know maybe you don't want baby shit i don't know uh so yeah changes made to this uh, to made, made to the audio portal they're probably going to come to the movies and games portals next so they might become a little bit prettier which will be cool and uh that's that's it for news thank you before you move off the news i'm curious how much of the audio portal is adult theme because i know it's a lot of the art portal a lot of it oh, is there a bunch of audio what? that's like porn audio i think like, that's something oh, yeah, i haven't been dude. aware of you not seen it or heard it I mean, heard it no what is it what is it uh, I'll, I'll we'll talk about that later maybe no let's talk about it now <laughs> okay okay <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah yeah there you go that's the one i i don't i don't get it personally really but I don't, it's just these voice actors and is it just people you know, like they, making sexy noises into a microphone? Like or yes, yeah, it's pretty much uploaded uh, a, a, a moan compilation that got. I think did it get ten thousand views? I can't remember. I remember at the same time <laughs> what? Uh, we we posted the Static Skull interview and and her moan compilation was getting like more than twice as many views as, or listens <laughs> as ours did. So thinking about this as an audio, you know, a person who listens. To, if I'm working around the house, I listen to music. <laughs> if I'm going to work, I listen to a podcast. If I'm in the grocery store, I listen to a podcast. I'm trying to think about where in my life I would slot away. I'm going to listen to a moan compilation. Well, con consider this. There are a okay. lot of creators on Newgrounds who make, um, you know, like adult games, for example. Uh -huh. And something uh -huh. like a moan compilation would be good for those types of people so that they could. You oh, know, you're have, right, actually. Or people to have a Oh, assets. Oh, right. Assets, dude. Assets. Now, now, see what I'm what I'm curious about is: there any male versions of those? Like, have there been male voice yes. actors doing that? I want to hear that. Like, I want to see a really <laughs> famous like male guy doing like moans or whatever. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be giving you my best, uh, <laughs> best <Yeah>. twenty. <laughs> Enjoy. Do whatever you need. Low. All right, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's just turn into <laughs> fighting game sound effects. I, I mean, that's I true. Mean, yeah. Viewed from the right perspective, fighting game sound effects. Uh, yeah, are pretty much. I, I mean, technically, that's true. Yeah, they are. It's what those guys have to do. You use it for a tennis game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Snackers, for the update on the Newgrounds news. No problem, Bob. Now it's time for the audience participation game. This is a segment that we'll be doing from time to time where we'll pull some member from the uh, live audience to participate pick in the me. podcast pick me. For, the, uh, for the game. Pick Snackers, me. I'm not going to pick you. I'm going to pick an audience no. member. So let's no. see. Let's see here. We've got... Will Comer. <laughs> I told you guys, I was the audience and the person in this episode. Oh, <laughs> what a twist. All right, Will. Here's what we're doing today. Okay. This is a trivia game. I have three questions here. Each question has three. I'll give you three possible answers, A through C. Okay. In order to win, you need to get two out of three correct. And Keller. if you win, 
you win a special prize. Which is? In this instance, it's being on the show. <laughs> All right. Back on nothing. In future instances, we'll have uh, more more interesting prizes for yeah. these games. If you if you don't win two out of three, we're going to cut this segment out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't win two out of three, we're going to cut you out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently. I'm historically so bad at these, so I'm really excited to give it my all today and uh, make you guys proud. You better. Um, mm-hmm. All right, Will. We're gonna start off with we're 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 gonna start off with a question from the movies portal. Okay. If you go onto don't don't do this now. That would be cheating. But if you went <laughs> okay. onto the movies portal and sorted by all date ranges, the highest viewed video, if you have the adult content filter off, is the mm. ultimate showdown. Absolute classic. Ah, oh, damn. The song in the ultimate showdown was made by which Newgrounds user? Is it A. The Weeble? B, Trapezoid, or C, Dan Paladin. The song from Ultimate Showdown? Yes. Yeah. Was made by Dan Paladin, The Weeble, or who's the other one? Trapezoid? Trapezoid. It's obviously Dan Paladin. This is confusing because I thought that the Ultimate Showdown was by Lemon Demon. Is that your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> None of the above? Oh, boy. If you're giving me those three options, confusingly, the Weeble and Dan Paladin are the two people I recognize. Trapezoid is the most likely to also be Lemon Demon, maybe, I guess. So I'm going to go with Trapezoid. That is correct. Trapezoid is Lemon Demon or Neil Ciciriga's Newgrounds username. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was not that bad. I'm like SAT scoring over here. I'm trying to find the most correct, even if it's like <laughs> the most confusing thing. Okay, yeah. I got yeah, this. Yeah, that one, that one was a bit of a trick question there, because uh, I didn't know if you had known that that was Lemon Demon. But yeah, yeah. Lemon Demon is known on Newgrounds. I actually didn't Trapezoid. know that either. Surprisingly yeah. classic Newgrounds history, I'm more well-versed in. Yeah, I thought it was just called Neil Ciciriga. We'll see about that. Or I'm going to say that in the next two questions will eat me for breakfast but we'll see we'll see <laughs> all right let's give it a shot so question all number right. two there is a highly regarded a rated movie on newgrounds called power trip highly regarded which i think we're gonna say party games i got so disappointed in in all fairness it's it's not strictly porn there is some of a porn element no that, that's it, a but. classic okay. anyway it's more comedic i wouldn't yeah yeah it's 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 not it's not i wouldn't call it porn anyway which Newgrounds user was not involved in the creation of Power Trip? Oh, shit. Is it A, Stamper, B, Spaz Kid, or C, Sexual Lobster? Oh, my God. Um, Henry and Snackers, do you guys know this? Like, do you I, mean, I, I can make a guess, but, uh, like... I know it this, is, this is Will's game. This is this Will's game. This is my game. game, okay. Yeah. Um, God, I'm going to, like... Um, okay, so... Sexual Lobster is the only one of those that I feel like is not in that circle. I feel like Stamper and Spaz Kid kind of frequent that same little office. So I'm going to say Sexual Lobster. That is correct. Sexual yeah! Lobster was not was involved in the creation question. of Power Trip. Logic. Okay. So you are you are now two for three. You have officially won. This is uh, the bonus round. I'm not going to be cut. All right. Good. Okay. Final question. <laughs> which highly regarded Newgrounds game, which later had a, a very successful independent run which newgrounds game was created by user blue baby oh, is yes. it a meat boy b dad and me or c frank's adventure is frank's adventure the one where he goes and collects nude pics of girls yes that's amazing <laughs> i wish it was that <laughs> but unfortunately it has to be meat boy wow that is correct blue, <laughs> Yay! blue baby uh, is Edmund McMillan, the creator of Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy, The Binding of Isaac, and uh, games like The C Word. <laughs> the C Word. The C Word. Yeah. Yeah. Edmund also, McMillan's how do you really guys something. pronounce the name of the game whose first word is time? What? You know what I mean? The Ed McMillan game, it's time, F, something, 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 something. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. What the fuck are you no. saying, Will? <laughs> <laughs> Am I derailing my own, the show I'm part of? It's... Time fuck, or it's time for kook, or it's time something something else. Oh. I'm just curious how you guys pronounced it, because it was either time for kook in school, or it was like, have you played time fuck? You can't search for it, because the letters are out of, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, I I would just call it time fuck. Fine, okay. Yeah, time fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's funny that you bring that up, actually, and the, the reason that I completely did not get what you were saying at all yeah. is that this is the first time, like, it has never occurred to me before 
that those letters are out of order. <laughs> I always just thought it was called time fuck. You just thought time fuck. I yeah. swear I called it. I would go to school and say, did you guys play the game time for kook? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, because that doesn't exist. Go back to your locker. <laughs> Get out of here, Will. Get out of here. Go back. Go hide in the bathroom again. <laughs> All right, Will. Well, congratulations. You got three for three. Yay. As I had mentioned before, we'll be doing audience participation games in the future when we have real live audiences. So tune in to our live recordings so that you can be a part of it. Thanks for having me. Big fan. Big Thanks, fan. Will. Mm-hmm. Okay, that wraps up our first episode. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Finally, before we before we conclude, we would like to uh, put out a casting call. Yeah. You might remember earlier that I had mentioned that uh, we'll have a revolving cast of hosts, so you'll be hearing different voices with each episode. In order to uh, better sustain the show, make it you know more more easy for us to do this on a weekly basis. So, in order to do that, we are going to need an additional host, which means we are turning to you, the Newgrounds community, to see if you'd like to participate. That's right. So, if you were listening and you were thinking, you know, I could do that, I could be a part of this, I'd love to be a part of this, then perhaps you can. Yeah. So, things you would need to, basically, the checklist that you can look at yourself and say, do I have this, is when we're talking, do you feel like you can join in with us? Do you feel like you have the sort of wavelength we do? Uh, maybe the same sort of humor we do, if you can call it humor at all. Good mic setup is always good. Although some of us here today are recording on our phones. What are you talking about? To. What, are you, what are you trying to say here? <laughs> I'm so good. Send us your moan compilation. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Send your moan compilations no. to newgroundspodcast at gmail.com and we'll rate them and we'll see if you can join. So here's what you should do. If you're listening to this, you want to be part of the Newgrounds podcast going forward, turn on your microphone, record a little bit about who you are, let us meet you a little bit, tell us, uh, you know, maybe why you think this is cool or why you'd want to be a part of it. Just for fun, I would say throw in your favorite joke. I want to hear your favorite joke. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. And then wrap that up on a nice little bow, make it a little MP3. And uh, send it to Goodell at Newgrounds. Give him a PM. Yeah, send send it to me through Newgrounds. Uh, you can upload it to the Dumping Grounds, or if you want to use Dropbox or whatever, just send me a link yeah. to it on on Newgrounds. I will see it. I will review it, and then uh, I will be getting back to you. I'll follow up with uh, with potential candidates if I have additional questions or anything like that. Yeah. In in your demo, it doesn't need to be super lengthy. Um, you know, just a quick bit, just, just a two minute recording, if yeah. that would be, would be totally sufficient. And like totally upfront, I don't think we know yet exactly how many people we're going to choose or how many people we're going to bring on. Right. So, you know, no guarantees. If you, uh, if you apply and you don't get into the thing, don't be upset. It's not necessarily because we heard you and we're like, this guy sucks. It could just be because we chose the people we chose and that's good. I think we'll try to make sure we get out to everybody and, you know, so you're not waiting forever to hear if, you know, you were, uh, accepted or not. We'll try to be good about that. But if you're into it, send us something. You could be part of the show and you could be talking to us live on the air of the Newgrounds podcast. It'd be fun to have you. All right. And uh, with that, that concludes our first episode. Thank you to everybody for listening. Thank you to Henry Eisen Snackers for participating. Whoa, yeah! Uh We'll see you next time. (laughs) Bye-bye! Bye, everybody. Catch y'all on the flip side. Woo!